pink champagne I'm totally vibing It's true what they say It's all about timing Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back to Unscripted. Uh, my name is C Chronicles. On this channel, I post vlogs as well as uh, fragrance reviews. Now, if you like that style of content, please do consider subscribing and joining the family. If you're already subscribed, thank you so much for the continued support. I have a quick review here uh, to do uh, for you. I have, I don't need a prince uh, by my side to be a princess from the house of Killian. And this is a mini. Um, the actual bottle, for those who are familiar with the bottle, I think it has been uh, branded it used to come in the almost like the d squared two want bottle you know with that golf uh ball kind of cap and stuff right so i think it's now coming in the square killian bottles or it could be vice versa i don't know now this is the uh close-up guys of the mini that i have and i'm gonna give it a quick spray but i have given this a decent test run and it's one of those fragrances i'm gonna say has been a difficult one for me to actually be able to extract because maybe it was the expectation you know coming from the killian house uh or maybe it was just how this fragrance was hyped uh, you know because when i sprayed it i was actually i'm gonna be honest very underwhelmed i was i don't know what i was expecting but it was definitely something that is gonna be louder and maybe more prominent uh, what i get uh from this fragrance on my skin i haven't worn it on the clothing because it just comes across as quite shy there so i think if i were to wear this on the clothing i'd have to do the whole nine yards just on the skin there i get a simple juice guys and an uncomplicated type of mainstream crowd pleasing sort of juice there that is wrapped around a sweet presentation so it is going to come across as very sweet there uh just initially right and um i think maybe the naming of this is also another thing that has clouded my judgment or is making me say i was underwhelmed you know i don't need a prince to be a prince but anyway uh with killian i think you know he's got a thing with naming his fragrances uh, love don't be shy that sort of thing uh in its defense though before i get in depth uh, with this uh, review, I'm going to say maybe in its defense, uh, because it's one of the cheaper ones, uh, it would be a fragrance that this kind of scent profile is going to be okay. But I certainly wasn't expecting that. I was expecting maybe something that is a, has a little bit of a va va voom and most especially because of the height. It does list lemon, uh, it does list green tea. The tea note in here, I think I can smell, but it comes across as a sweet tea. It doesn't come across as a green tea tea if you will there's a note of ginger to my nose the uh, ginger uh, is also another one that is playing hide and seek with me i can't quite really get the ginger mostly if like me you like your ginger in a fizzy form okay i don't get like a fizziness of a ginger in here but of course there is a spiciness so we are going to attribute that to the ginger in the and then there's the peach the peach is actually quite prominent that is the one i can sort of say i can smell in this and then there is like shy florals there the jasmine especially and then there is a hedion and the hedion what is it, it's doing here is I think it's the one that's giving this fragrance a synthetic roundup all through. Uh, there is going to be something about this fragrance that some are outright going to call synthetic uh, because uh, it does vibe synthetic. But I think it's actually a syntheticness that is bouncing off the head here, not because it is a synthetic juice. I'm not sure whether I'm making any sense, but basically to rephrase, I'm saying there are some fragrances that will come off as plasticky, uh, some of the celebrity friends, uh, fragrances that have the synthetic accord and stuff. Uh, this is not that sort of syntheticness. It kind of feels as though it was designed to have that sort of syntheticness. And it is a sort of syntheticness that you're going to get from that artificial uh, feel of the Hideon. Uh, I wish I had my... Shahab Oud Tonka. I was going to give you that as an example. The Swiss Arabian one. That that one has like a plasticky roundup. And it's kind of deliberate that it was supposed to be like that. So I do get a syntheticness here. Not necessarily because the fragrance is accidentally synthetic. But it feels as though that is exactly what they were going for. right? And then there is that uh, apple uh, in the mix as well. But the apple does not push this one to crisp. It just kind of fuses there uh, to make this one have like a fruity tone. Without it being being, you know the star of the show and then immediately uh, you get into the vanilla and the marshmallow now that marshmallow note is the one thing that uh, made this one take off because who doesn't like marshmallow in a fragrance 
especially if it's targeted for women because this particular one the fact that it says i don't need a prince to be a princess makes it obvious that it was targeted for women because a prince to be a that it's a it's a, it's a feminine the fragrance the marshmallow in here will give you a powdery accord it will contribute to the sweetness of the fragrance but it mixing with the vanilla kind of makes uh, or transport my senses to the sort of marshmallow that you will burn by the fire. You know, if you are uh, into going out, uh, maybe camping, and then you have um, marshmallow and you, you, you kind of roast, you know, the marshmallow there, having a chit chat conversation. That is how the marshmallow interprets in here. You know, uh, as though it's uh, burnt marshmallow, mixing with that vanilla, of course. So the wrap up of this fragrance is definitely going to be a sweet fragrance with that toasted marshmallow. It doesn't get to a point of creamy to me. It just gets to a point of uh, powdery, sweet, uh, vanillin, marshmallow scent with that a uh, little bit of a toasted feel, but very sugar. Uh, for uh, the uh, composition it's in itself is a no brainer. If you like it, uh, it, it does have a crowd pleasing appeal. So a lot of people are Gonna like this but personally it is pr probably you know a fragrance that uh, because i had high expectations uh i'm not gonna put as a like even as a love it's just a fragrance that's there it's a fragrance that i can see myself running through the bottle and possibly not buying another one because it lacks that memorable thing that you you know that oomph that's gonna make you say oh wow and i'll, I'll give you an example um the, the, this fragrance is not mine actually it is Ajwa's fragrance she came with a couple of fragrances as well and with the fragrances that she came with she had commodity milk as well and when i spoke Spray that commodity milk it was immediately i'm not comparing commodity commodity milk with this at all they don't vibe the same but it had that immediate thing where sometimes you get a vial and the first thing that comes to mind is if i get money i'm gonna buy this i don't get that and that even for the fact that it is a fragrance that's in uh like the 120 150 in you know my country i'll tell you 150 dollar range it's still not a fragrance that i would rush and buy uh because it's just gonna sit there being an easy reach type of fragrance where i can splash around the house uh and it'll just umbrella me uh the uh, profile in itself will hover around the wearer you know it will just have this lingering effect uh, but it's not at the moment coming across as a projecting kind of fragrance it's, it's just stays close to the skin to a point that even smelling it on the skin like this i kind of have have to i kind of have to make an extra effort you know to make sure that i actually do smell it enough to enjoy it so it is that style of fragrance guys so i don't know uh, anybody who's used this i'd love to know in the comment section your thoughts uh but the juice in itself is going to be rounded in that synthetic tone and it is sort of the sort of thing that they were actually going for as opposed to coincidentally having a juice that ends up being synthetic so You've got to like those synthetic toned fragrances. And even something here is going to remind you of like a lipsticky feel there. So I can see the feminine tone of it uh, because it does have like a like that, that lipsticky thing and that marshmallow thing, you know, that toasted marshmallow thing, uh, that sort of thing. But as for it being, you know, say a wow for me, not yet. Uh, if I get drawn to it with time, then it's going to be something else. But I'm so glad that Ajwa came with this one and I got to test it because it's a fragrance that I always used to look at with a side eye and think, OK, one day I'm going to add this to my collection um also that it's a it's a killian and i know that killian has got a lot of other fragrances that are way 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 you know like uh, heavy hitters i wasn't expecting that based off the price of this but it's still at the same time with even that price i was still expecting something better c chronicles is my name thank you so much for joining me today let's meet in the comment section guys where we'll obviously discuss more about fragrances let me know if you have this fragrance your experience with this fragrance would you recommend this fragrance to other people do you think that the, the hype was warranted when it came to this or it was just the naming and the marketing uh, that made this one uh, you know take off remember to turn on post notifications guys on this channel that way you get to be notified anytime i upload a video like and share this one stay safe stay blessed love you as always and i will see you in the next one bye for now